Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 1650 Super in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. I'm also running the latest NVIDIA drivers, as you can see, 457.51. This is the Asus Phoenix version of the card and I overclocked it a little bit here, plus 100 megahertz on the core clock and plus 150 on the memory clock. You can see the clock speeds right here, running at 100% GPU usage or 98%, pretty much the same thing. And uh, you don't need the 3700X if you want to achieve these FPS because a Ryzen 3 3300X will give you absolutely the same results. I am going to go over the settings right now. I'm playing at 1080p resolution. That's the resolution that I'm going to be testing with in this video. And I'm going to be playing at the low competitive, which is low with epic view distance, medium, medium, no shadows, high, high with no shadows, and epic, epic with no shadows. I'm running it in DirectX 12 mode because DirectX 11 stutters, and this one is way more consistent. We're not going to go to the holy hedges are you kidding me oh look at that 69 degrees celsius this is the perfect overclock my friends to keep this gpu at 69 degrees wow dx12 still kind of broken as you can see it's not really loading things properly but hopefully once we hit the ground yeah okay there we go everything is fine now i'm gonna start counting our fps and uh, yeah we're seeing a ton of frames per second right now this is amazing can we get that guy actually um well, not from here with the shotgun we can't. Oh, hello guys, how are you doing? Everyone's here. Oh, I had a pistol there. Okay, then. Let's run around the Whipping Woods for a little bit. This is the most GPU intensive area in the entire map. And yes, guys, I did test that stealthy stronghold there, which also has a ton of trees. And this one seems to be a little bit more intensive, the Whipping Woods, you know. Not just a little bit, actually. It's quite a bit more intensive than that. So, yeah, as it stands, the Whipping Woods is still the most demanding area for the GPU to run. Up, oh, up. Oh. Uh, I, uh, okay, uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I just want to get to the bush. Come on. Oh, boy, so many there. All right, you know what? Can, can I, can I please? Oh, my God. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna go here. No, I want to go to the bush. Oh, I, I feel like I'm gonna die here, guys. Okay, 160s. Well, this is great, actually. Great performance coming from the 1650 Super. If you have a 144 or 165 hertz monitor, you can definitely uh, run it at your refresh rate on the low settings and always get above that refresh rate. Oh, I'm hearing steps. Oh, they're here. Oh, no, what? I, I don't want to go. Oh, God. <laughs> what is up? I, I don't even know how to talk right now. Okay, they got them. <laughs> nice. Okay, where is the other one? <laughs> All right. Uh, there he is. Nope. Oh, my God. No. Come on, guys. You can do it. It's only one of them. Oh, thank God. Can we just destroy this? And go, please. Oh boy, oh my god, please guys, get them all. You you can do it, I believe. Oh 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 okay. I, I got one, I got one, okay, okay. Can we headshot him? Yes, nice, all right. And that's probably enough for low settings, you know? Uh, of course, we didn't really leave the Weeping Woods. If we did, we'd probably see like 250 FPS on average instead of 224. So we're just gonna go ahead right now and set the view distance to epic. This this is competitive settings right now. I am gonna go ahead and restart the counting system and look at the GPU temperatures. They, they seem like they have stabilized at 69 degrees. That is so amazing. <laughs> Can we, can we take these guys out? I don't want to get out of the Whipping Woods, my friends. I want to check out the FPS and compare it to low settings to see if there's like a big difference here. But so far, I, I can't really tell the difference, you know, if I disabled the FPS counter there, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 200 or 250 FPS on average, so uh, there's that. That, that, that bush doesn't look right, you know, I mean, if I had a 240Hz monitor, I could tell the difference, but it's very slight, it's, it's not really that big, and if you are not like a top tier competitive player, or a pro gamer actually, uh, you won't really tell the difference between 200 and 250 frames, especially with a 144Hz monitor, which is very adequate for a 1650 Super. Alright, it's time for us to venture out of the Whipping Woods and actually win the damn game, shall we? <laughs> oh, I gotta mention as well, uh, we are losing about 5 FPS here on low and competitive settings because I am recording with Shadowplay, my capture card 
broke, it's kind of broken. It oh no, a terrible thing has happened, my friends. We got 70 degrees Celsius right now. Wow, oh, 60, no, no, back to 7, 69, ah, oh, there we go, very nice. If you don't have a high refresh rate monitor and you are playing at 200 FPS, please get one, it's a massive difference, it's, it's just so smooth, it's so good, you can't even tell in the YouTube video, but just take my word for it, it the, the difference is, like, huge. Whoa, 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 what the, what is this, what are, what, come on. Oh, no, come on, you don't kill my boys. Oh, yeah, you killed me, not my boys, <laughs> all right. Well, that's been it for competitive settings, my friends. 224 FPS on average and 152, 1% lows. Holy crap, come on, buddy, you can, nice, we actually won. <laughs> and we are back to it. I'm playing at 1080p medium settings this time around. 3D resolution is set to 100%, so we're at native 1080p. And let's drop in the whipping woods once again. Okay, oh my gosh. Tons of people dropping with us. Why? All right, I'm gonna eat some mushrooms and I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna start counting the FPS actually. Let's go. Let's go this way. Yes. Oh, that's a guy. Oh, that's Wolverine actually. Oh boy. Okay. We're not going. We're not going that way. Now, medium settings, guys, stutters a little bit because, well, I just switched to medium, so it's still kind of rendering in some things and loading. Hopefully, my guys can take care of the other squads actually. You know what? There's a weapon there. I'm gonna try to grab it. Right, so inside of bushes, 130s, that is 120s actually. Oh, oh, they're here. Um, uh oh. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. We're just gonna go uh, through the river. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go to Slurpy Swamps, guys. Finally, a weapon, my friends. Yes, okay. Do you want this, buddy? No? Ah. <sighs> Peace and quiet. What what just happened now? <laughs> There's a guy right here. Yep, okay. Uh wow. Alright, he just built a castle and we got him. So it seems like the 1650 Super with medium settings still provides us with a high refresh rate experience. This is extremely smooth still. There is the odd stutter here and there because of medium settings. I don't know why it always happens on medium. We got 162 FPS on average and 109 1% lows. It's a pretty nice experience aside from the stuttering. But if you manage to solve that issue, yeah, yeah just go for it. I don't personally like medium settings because of the shadows to be honest. It's it looks bad because the shadows are just rendering in as you walk and you can see them rendering in like 15 meters away from you so I think the uh, shadow draw distance is very low on medium and you should avoid it but if you like that look well just go for it the 1650 super can definitely handle it now medium settings without shadows it seems like it's probably gonna get like 10 more FPS on average or something like that 10 to 15 so it, it's still really good and really smooth. I uh, guess there are enemies there. Do you guys want to attack? Do you want to stay? I, I don't know. Um, I should not be doing this with an SMG, you know, <laughs> at the distance. This is kind of like an SMG. I know it says tactical assault rifle. The damage is just way too low. Um, um, what to do? Oh boy. Um, the guy's right there. The guy, I saw him. Oh, my, my guys are just building things around me so I don't die, I guess. <laughs> because they know I'm gonna die. <laughs> I guess my teammates gotta worry about me not getting killed and killing the other guys at the same time. So it's not ideal for my teammates. But we got this. We got this guy. It's Kratos, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Please, guys, don't die on me. Um, um, it's all good. It's all good. We got a school trooper. We got a school trooper there. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. No, 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 no. Uh, I need to... Oh, oh. My boys are just dying. Everybody's dying. Can I kill him? Oh, oh, my God. Right, here we go. We're now at the high settings preset with the 1080p resolution. Let's go. Okay, we just dropped and got a couple of stutters as usual. I'm gonna start counting our FPS right now. And hopefully it's gonna be a smoother experience than medium settings. I usually see stuttering on medium and not on high, or at least not as much. Um, still, this, they, they should definitely work on that. You know, oh no, my god, oh my god. It, it just leaves me speechless every single time the sunrise and sunsets in this game. I really love these colors. 
they should definitely work on improving those uh, stuttering issues, you know, because uh, it's been like this since chapter 2 came out, season 1, you know. Now, in this season, they actually improved CPU performance because last season I was seeing the CPU utilization going up to like 50% at times, which was completely insane. It was using eight entire cores of the, or threads of the 3700X, and now uh, we're getting like 15 to 30 percent most of the time so an eight threaded cpu or even a six threaded cpu should perform absolutely fine four core cpus should be a little bit better this season you know but still not recommendable they will stutter a little bit too much but yeah last season they just broke cpu performance completely and the six core 9400f was getting like 120 fps from what i've seen in the comments of my videos but anyway speaking of the performance here high settings in the whipping wood gets us 80 fps on average around that and 1% lows in the 60s so it, it doesn't drop from 60 fps on high yeah you can see that even inside of the bush you get fps in the 70s so it's not gonna drop from 60 fps definitely so this is high settings without shadows and let's see how much of a performance boost we get let's start counting the fps inside of a bush a hundreds 90s not bad at all Wow, this is kind of a high refresh rate experience, actually. You're not gonna max out a 144Hz monitor, but you might max out a 120Hz monitor. I guess they just want to play football with me? Or can you even play football with a ball like this, though? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> what the heck? All right, the things you can do in Fortnite. Anyways, let's just keep on moving here because I'm spending way too much time inside of the house and bumping up those averages there. To be honest, inside of the house you get pretty much the same FPS as like over there in the middle of nowhere for example so if you are seeing more fps with your gtx 1650 super it's just because of that it's because i am playing only in the whipping woods because it's the most intensive area and now we actually gotta get away from the whipping woods because the circle is outside of here now would i prefer high without shadows or high with shadows i think i will say high with shadows because it just looks gorgeous and high without shadows although it's way smoother and better for a competitive person of course i think it just looks kind of bland guys like it's th there's a massive difference between shadows enabled and disabled and i really like the graphics with them enabled is that banana boy no it's not but let's see where the heck banana boy oh, there he is all right we got him there are still 16 people alive that's quite a lot guys and the game's kind of stuttering right now uh oh boy oh boy oh boy okay okay this is this is very bad oh what the what are you doing here no 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 you know what i'm just no 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 wait a second i'm gonna kill this guy first no i can't um why did my shots miss like every single shot of mine missed there i ah, got him got him got him i'm very low hp i'm 3 hp seriously yep oh my god <laughs> headshot okay then where right there yep okay he's there we got it we got it another win guys and this time around i actually killed like three or four people so that was amazing finally we are in our last game i think 1080p resolution epic settings and the x12 let's do this and i think i'm gonna keep these shorter here on epic settings because i really think that if you want the visual fidelity kind of experience you know you want to enjoy the graphics you should play on high settings because i really think that the 1650 Super will drop from 60 FPS on Epic from time to time. It will probably get a 60 plus FPS average, but you know, it's kind of sluggish compared to high and it looks kind of the same. Uh, yeah, we're already dropping a little bit from 60 FPS. Let's start counting our FPS here. And yeah, do remember that I'm recording with Shadowplay and that's dropping our FPS by one. So it. It's not a big deal, <laughs> it's like negligible, uh, but yeah, we're losing like 1 FPS by the recording now. Uh, inside of bushes, surprisingly, it doesn't drop too much. I was expecting like low 50s there, but no, it still manages to get around 60 FPS. I'm kind of impressed. This is still very playable. It's not a competitive uh, experience, you know, if you want to play this game competitively and you really want to try hard and sweat and whatever, <laughs> play this game uh, 
it's it's not ideal for you if you're one of those people just play on low settings you know there's no point in playing on higher than that if you're more of a casual player i guess well epic settings might be fine we're in the whipping woods as well so that means that outside of here it's probably not gonna drop from 60 too much uh yeah this is this is crazy good i was not expecting this oh my gosh they just follow you everywhere okay we gotta take them out do you really want to die i could definitely still have fun playing like this guys so just go for it i i don't really recommend it again because at high settings it's much more comfortable I'm gonna stop it right there now. 60 FPS flat there. Okay, not too bad. 69! Okay, okay. Guys, guys, if I manage to drop one degree off of the GPU, we're gonna get 69 FPS average. And oh, there we go. We, we got it for a brief moment. 69 FPS average and 69 degrees Celsius. We saw it for a split second there. But it was truly a wonderful experience. I am glad I tested this GPU today. Life-changing, guys. Life-changing. Let's just drop the shadows here. Apply that. And here we go. We're gonna do this. Okay, so as you can see, right off the bat, the graphics are not what they used to be. It was very beautiful and epic. We got an extremely good average. Like... I don't think we've seen a better average than that. Uh, like, I have never gotten 420 FPS in this game. So yeah, 69 was pretty much the best I've seen so far. But yeah, the graphics are not really that good here. It's a much smoother experience though. Yeah, personally, I would not play like this, guys. As, as you know, I really, really like those shadows in this game. It just looks wonderful. And um, if I'm playing a game for the visuals, I want the shadows enabled. You know what, if I was that guy, I'd be a little bit scared seeing a Skull Trooper uh, coming my way to kill me. But yeah, it's just me, so <laughs> he was probably not very scared. Or he shouldn't have been. Oh, I hit that! Very nice! That was completely random. Well, kind of. Not, not really completely, but I, I was not expecting to hit that. Wait a second, is that a guy? Yep, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I saw him dropping there. What? Wait a second, uh, nope. Is that everybody? I I still got shot from behind, I think. Not sure, though. We better just go, you know? The, the circle is coming, my friends. We, we need to move. Oh, boy. Okay, all right. Got the shields. Guys, you might want to come here. I don't know. Um, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a good job, I guess. The guy is kind of scared of me. Where the heck is he? There he is! There he is! Jetpacks and everything. What the heck? Okay. Oh, ouch! Um... Right, you know what, my friends, this is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, performance is pretty damn good here with the 1650 Super. I'm kind of impressed as well. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.